we see Jasmine making a circle with a flashing red light? The circle includes all values ranging from 0 degrees all the way to 360 degrees, or 0 pi all the way to 2 pi. Here we see it actually graphed on the geometry sketch pad. We are passing 90 degrees, or pi over 2, heading towards 180 degrees, or pi, 270 degrees, or 3 pi over 2, and last but not least, 360 degrees, or 2 pi. Here we see Jasmine still making a circle. From this angle, we can only see the red dot moving up and down. Think about it this way. At the very top of the red dot's motion, the value of y equals 1. The very bottom of the motion, the value of y equals negative 1. The very middle equals 0. By using a reference triangle on the geometry sketch pad, we could actually graph the height of the flashing red light. The height can be seen through the y side of the reference triangle. You can also isolate the red line, or the y value of the reference triangle, as point B moves across the circle. The red line has a distinct correlation with the red flashing light displayed by Jasmine. The two are both vertically going up and down. Now we are going to add a horizontal component to our movement. The red light is still moving up and down, but at the same time we are moving straight. This is the actual graph of the function y equals sine x. Try to think about height and distance at the same time as projected by the flashing red light's motion. At the top of the red light's motion, its y value will be 1, and its x value will be pi over 2. In the middle of its motion, its x value will be pi, and its y value will be 0. At the bottom of its motion, it will have an x value of 3 pi over 2, or a y value of negative 1. It will then go up all the way to the x-axis. We'll have a x value of 2 pi, and a y value of 0. We can also use the geometry sketch pad to develop a better understanding of what the graph looks like. By understanding the concept of a unit circle, the height or amplitude of the y values, and by understanding the horizontal and the vertical values represented by the movement of the red light, we can successfully graph the function y equals sine x on the geometry sketch pad. Here we have the reference triangle, the red line indicating the height or amplitude of the y value, and the graph itself. This, in essence, is everything involved with the function y equals sine x.